What's going on guys? Today's video is what you've been asking for. We're going to find out whether or not the new look Calgary Flames can win a Stanley Cup. If you guys somehow don't know what I'm talking about, arguably they're two best forwards on the team now they added this summer, Jonathan huber Doe and Nazem Kadri. Also too, they added their best defenseman on the team this summer and Mackenzie Wieger. So definitely like a new look Calgary Flames also too with that. They lost Johnny Gaudreau, they lost Matthew Kachuk. Also you guys, I should show you, I'm using a new roster for this. I've actually put it up for download if you guys want to check it out. But you can see there we got the Bergeron extension. Krejci is now on the Bruins. Uh, we got the Islanders extensions with like Dobson and Romanov. I've also updated Kevin Harju to setting through overall highly potential. It just felt like he wasn't high enough rated out of the draft. On top of that too, I've added Dalibor Dvorsky to the game. He's probably going to go fourth overall in 2023 behind Bedard, Michkov, and Fantilli. You guys can see here we got him at 69 overall, mainly potential. We just look at his stats. Of course, you can see all the X-Factors too. And so if you guys want my updated free agent roster, go to the roster share menu and download Tactics Free Agent Roster 2. Now remember for this, you have to be on Xbox Series X or S. And I'll get into the franchise here, guys. As I mentioned, you can see top players there, Huberto, Markstrom, Kadri. So two of the top three they added this summer. Calgary Flames, they're 88 overall, which makes them tied for the third highest rated team in the West. Looks like Edmonton Vegas there ties the first best. So should definitely be a playoff team. And like I said, I think there's actually a chance they can win the Stanley Cup. And next year, guys, for that simulation, you're going to show the lines for this team. Again, could they be Stanley Cup champions? Maybe. So first line there, you got Huberdo, Lindholm, and Toffoli getting a plus five. We got Mangia, Panny, Kadri, and Coleman on the second line with a plus one. Dubé, Backlund, Razik on the third. Lewis, Rooney, and Lucic on the fourth. Defensively here, Uyghur, Tanev's the top pair of the plus two. Anderson, Hannifin on the second pair. Shillington, Zadarov on the bottom pair. Of course, in goal, they got 89 overall, Jacob Markstrom, so they got an elite goalie. Vlade, they're backing up, 82. And now in terms of the special teams, I tried to be as true to real life as I could while still getting decent chemistry. So first power unit here, you can see Huberto, Lindholm, Kadri, Uyghur, Toffoli get a plus five. Second unit there isn't too bad, no bonus. Four man one gets a plus five. Second unit throw minus one. Kind of funny, like the first four man, Lindholm's the only player on the team from last season that's on it. Huberto, Uyghur, Kadri, all new. Uh, PK one's a plus two. PK two there's a zero. Three-man PK is both zero. I don't think Kadri will actually be playing it, but again, uh, I need him there for chemistry purposes. So, overall, decent team. Should for sure be a playoff team. And like I said, I feel like we have an outside chance of the Stanley Cup. Also, two guys, my predictions for captaincy of the Calgary Flames this year. I've got Lindholm wearing the C. Backlund keeps his A. I'm actually giving a new A there to Hubert Doe. Will he actually get it? I'm not sure, but that's just kind of my guess. So, as you can see here, the Flames are 1-5 through the preseason. Also, guys, I forgot to point out the fact that Milan Lucic was a point per game in the preseason. Don't know how he pulled that one off, but found it pretty funny. And if you guys are curious about this team's rating, they got 89 offense, 91 defense, 88 goaltending. So, is that good enough to win a cup? Let's find out. So, the trade deadline here with a record of 36-19-8. Team's playing pretty well. Second in the division there. Only one win back of the goal night. So, should be a playoff team. Lean score rate now is super dope, 75 and 63. So looking pretty good his first year in Calgary. And check out the blockbuster that just went down, guys. Buffalo trades Owen Power. That's first overall pick, Owen Power. And Isaac Rosen, the Montreal Canadiens. And in return, they get Kirby Dock and Josh Anderson. I feel like Buffalo definitely got fleeced there, but uh, time will tell. And look at this. After going to three straight Stanley Cup finals, winning two of them, the Tampa Bay Lightning fired John Cooper, at least... Um, you know, his representative here in-game, Alvin Mahalik. That's kind of nuts. And Nashville's firing their head coach after making the playoffs last year after a solid season. Strange. And throughout the season here, guys, record of 46-27-9. We actually finished third in the division there. Tied with the Anaheim Ducks with 101 points. Canucks, they're right on our tail with 100. Oilers, they're 93. Missed the playoffs. That is kind of surprising. So, let's see here. Hubert Doe did lead our team in points. 97 points. So, a little shy there of 100 points in the season. But... Um, still, I'm sure he's happy with that. Also, two guys, I think I forgot to mention, but Huberto in game, you can see 91. This is with my ratings. Toffoli goes off on that top line with Huberto and Lindholm, 94 points. I think that's a career year for him. Yeah, he's never even touched 94 points. I think the most he ever had is 58. So, big year there. Lindholm was also over a point per game, so the entire first line went off. Caudry 75, you can see in game is 88. Manji Penny 57 is not bad. Coleman 54, back with 52, so... Uh, what do we have? Seven guys there, 50 plus points. Uyghur, 43. You guys can see he's 87. Uh, Dubé put up 40, which also isn't too bad. Tan of 34 for defensive defending is actually pretty good. Uh, Hanif 32. I feel like you'd like a bit better from him, but overall not too bad. Milan Lucic, only 19 penalty minutes. That's actually uh, pretty solid for him. Goaltending stats. Markstrom, let's see. Below 900 save percentage. That's not good. 3.36 goals against. Uh, he definitely needs to play better. Surprise, his team did that well. Uh, considering you know, how poorly he played. So entire league here, 
Matthews went off, 118 points, wins Yar Ross. Dreisel with 111, Marner, McDavid, Giroux and Sanders did really well. Aho, Stone, Eichel, McKinnon. And it looks like Matthews wins back-to-back -back. Marisha Shard trophies. Defensive scoring there, Victor Hedman. Uh, just nudges out McCarr there, Yossi in third. And now this is kind of crazy, guys. Decided to check out rookie skaters. Matty Beneers there at 74 points. Minus 18, he's probably going to lose a call there to Trevor Zegers. But the fact that Beneers, I think, starts out like a 74, 75. He's already up to a 78. Um, and he put up those numbers. Like, that's really impressive. Especially since he's the only guy on this list who actually qualifies to be a rookie next season. Where all the other guys, obviously, have already had their rookie year. And Beneers put up more points than all of them. Goalie stats here. Jari there most wins. Save percentage there for a starter. Noljevic, 0.92. Would love that uh, if that was the real case. Goals against here for a starter. Also Noljevic there with a 2.6. So uh, I think he put up some numbers like that next season. Or at least I feel like he could actually put up better. But if he can, you know, lead goalie stats, I'd be happy with it. So entire league here. Maple Leafs win the Presidents Trophy, 112. Uh, where are we finishing? 7th there with 101. You got 9 teams with 100 plus. Um, top 16 all make it. So Edmonton, Ottawa, both just missed. Islanders there last, 68 points. Obviously did not land Kadri. Uh, we were second there in goals fourth. Senators were fourth, still missed, but obviously a much better season than they've had in the past four or five years. Best goals against the Penguins. We're actually nowhere to be seen. Nor are we one of the worst goals against, so I guess we're kind of somewhere in the middle. Again, with Markstrom's numbers, that's really no surprise. So the first round here, guys, we're up against the Anaheim Ducks. I am curious to see... If they've added Mason McTavish to this team. They haven't, but they did trade for Andre Palat. So, yeah, I can't believe this team is making it to the playoffs. They've also got Martin Kaut there on the team now. They signed Evan Rodriguez uh, defensively here. They brought Sammy Vatnin back. <laughs> How crazy is that? Uh, Gibson, of course, will be the starter. So, let's see what happens here, guys. Round one against the Anaheim Ducks. We should beat them, but uh, you never know. They actually have the home ice advantage. And we get one win, one loss, first two games. Head home to Calgary. And again, one win, one loss. So series is tied two apiece. Head to Anaheim now. 6-5 win. Have to win one of the next two. And 3-2 OT loss. Series on the line. Stanley Cup hopes on the line. We're down 2-1. Henrique Terry, Huberto for us. Down 3-1. to one. Are we going to lose to the Ducks, who are like literally going for Connor Bedard in real life? Wow. So this Calgary Flames team makes the playoffs. And they're a first round exit with the Anaheim Ducks in seven. That is unreal. And now looking at the draft player results here, guys. LA jumps up from 11 to 1 to get Connor Bedard. That would be insane if a team jumped up that much during the 2023 lottery. Um, Islanders there fall from 1 to 2, so they get Michkov. Uh, Arizona's the Montreal pick, so really be Montreal uh, picking three there, probably Adam Fantilli. And then with the fourth pick there, Arizona probably takes Dalibor Dvorsky, who I was actually mentioning earlier on in the video. You guys might have saw there. We don't have to feel too bad, I guess, as we actually lost the eventual Stanley Cup winner in the Anaheim Ducks. I don't know how they pulled that one off. Like, makes absolutely no sense to me. So, it uh, shows you, like, the sim isn't always too accurate. Playoff tree here, the Ducks beat us in seven, the Gold Knights in seven, Avalanche in seven, and the Leafs in six. So, I mean, they beat a bunch of good teams. They definitely earned it, but how that team won a Stanley Cup, I have no idea. Leafs fans, I would be annoyed. So, awards here, guys. Again, the Ducks Stanley Cup. That's just crazy. Individual awards here, Matthews, Art Ross, and the Hart. Heaven there got the James Norris. Matthews also got Lady Bing. Bunting got the Calder, opposed to Zegris there, or Beneers. Uh, Klingberg got the Con Smythe. I mean, I guess he played well there with the Ducks. Jari did get the Vezna with the Liam Jennings Trophy. Savard, Bill Masterton. Buffalo coach, Jack Adams. I still can't believe they trade Owen Bauer. O'Reilly there, another Selkie Trophy. Matthews, Ted Lindsay, and Marie Richard. So... I think Matthews had five awards there. Um, he did. That is absolutely insane. So, unfortunately, we were knocked on the first round, but at least we lost to the eventual Stanley Cup winner. Um, if the Ducks go on to do that, I think, you know, somebody who put a, you know, 10,001 bet on the Anaheim Ducks in the Stanley Cup is going to be laughing. And honestly, with the changes Calgary's made, I feel like they should at least be as good as they were last year, if not better. As I think Kadri Huberdeau is pretty even to Goudreau and Kachuk. But then you had Uyghur on defense, who's now like their number one defenseman. That is just such a big boost to the team. Obviously, you have to wait and see what happens, but I think Calgary will be a force next season. Let me know in the comments section where you guys think Calgary's going to finish next season. Do they miss the playoffs? Out in the first round, Western Conference Finals, Stanley Cup champs. I want to hear from you guys. And as always, if you did enjoy this one, leave that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the sub button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.